Well, welcome back. Um, I'm doing Christmas dinner and I put up some LED lights to hopefully see if I can get that to shine on the situation a little bit better. Okay, so tonight I'm going to do some Cornish hens and I'm going to roast them in this little um, cast iron pan and there's Boon Dog. He's patiently waiting for something. He says it smells good in here. So I'm going to stuff them and we'll bake them and I'll probably do some yams and some rolls. I already had some uh, carrots marinating for later and uh, yeah, let's do a nice Christmas dinner. All right, it's 4.30. I've uh, just uh, started my fire, got it going really good. The temperature gauge is at one and uh, I'm gonna feed it a whole bunch of this smaller wood that I'm preheating on the top here. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I already have a decent bed of coals going in there. And uh, I'll just add some more wood and, and keep feeding this for a while. Nice, nice small stuff. And that temperature will just climb like crazy as soon as I shut down the dampers. Now the dampers, I'll show you here in just a second. Let's get some wood in here. Let's get some smaller stuff in there. The house is already pretty hot. This is going to do exactly what I want it to, to bring up the temperature. Okay, so the damper, for me, I have a damper on my stove pipe. I have a damper right there. If I pull this up as it is now, it's transferring all the heat into and around the oven. This is my other side air vent, and I have it closed, kind of keeping the heat. And this one here, I'm gonna start shutting it down. And I close it just so it's not smoking. When it starts to smoke, I know I've got it shut down too much. Okay, I think we're just about there. Can't shut it down all the way. It does start smoking just around these rings right here. All right, so see here. Sorry about my light. Okay, already it's coming off the one. So it's 4.30, 4.35, we'll see how fast it climbs. Okay, so um, I was explaining to you how that I shut down the damper and it is smoking. So I wanted to kind of give you an idea of that, what that looks like. Um, these things are not airtight, obviously, and so it will seep up through some of the cracks. I'm just gonna open that just up just a little bit and it doesn't take much. and it stops smoking. So that's where I know to shut the damper down. Okay, in this oven, this oven only has one rack setting on the inside, as you can see here. And <laughs> doing those Cornish hens, I'm probably going to get them a little bit too brown on top. So what I'm gonna do is, or what I have done, is I lowered the rack, I put them on these um, fire brick, and um, so I can cook the Cornish hens just a, a little bit lower in the oven and uh, see how I like that. My temperature on the inside says uh, 175, looks like maybe. Because we've had the oven open and it's, and it's, uh, it's at one, so. Okay, so for the roll recipe, I love my 60 minute roll recipe. This is what it is. I've already got uh, two and a half cups of white flour, one cup of wheat flour, and um, three tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of yeast in that bowl. I also have it set into another bowl because I'm gonna put water underneath. And then over here on my range, I have 
uh, the milk. It's one cup of milk, half cup of water, and a quarter cup of butter. And that I'm going to pour in to the flour here in just a second. And then mix it in slowly and knead that up. And then I'll show what eat I'm going to do next. Okay, so I've kneaded the dough uh, for about five minutes. I greased the bowl and a little bit on the top of the dough so it's not going to dry out as it's rising. In this bowl right here, you can see I've got some hot water. What I'm going to do is, let's see if I can set this light down here. I'm going to set this bowl into that bowl. So, looks like I got a little bit too much water in there. Then I'm going to cover it and set it on top of the stove to rise. Only for about 15 minutes. That's all it takes. So, I just got this set again in the bowl of water and the dough is in there. We're going to let that rise right there on the top of the oven just to let it rise for about 15 minutes. That's all it takes. And then I've got my Cornish hen sitting here. They're stuffed, they're buttered, seasoned, and ready to go in the oven. And my oven temperature is taking a little bit longer tonight to come up. And I think it's because the wood I'm using might be just a little bit more green. Um, we're at two and a half. And I'm take a peek on the inside. And their thumb thermostat says 275. So let's get the back up real quick. We're doing all right. Time wise, it is 5:30. So in one hour's time, it's come up to 275. Okay, just check the oven temperature, and it's our own, it's real close to four here, as you can see. Let's open it up and take a look inside. Sorry. And. I'm at just almost 350 in there, so as you can tell, this gauge isn't 100% accurate. Of course, I did lower the rack, so it has something to do with it. So at 350 on a lower setting in the on the rack, I'm good with that. I'm going to go ahead and throw in the um, Cornish hands. So I just, just put in the Cornish hands in there. And uh, oh, those look lovely. I left a little bit of room over here on the left for the um, the dinner rolls, which I'm gonna finish up right now. All right, let's take a look at how we're doing here. Look at that, that's beautiful. That, that raised up just nice. Took about 15 minutes. I might have let it go just a little bit longer because I was distracted, but let's get this going. Well, things are cooking right along. The oven right now is just heating up nicely. It's at four and a quarter, almost four and a half. And I took my rolls and go, went ahead and put them in balls and put them in the cast iron. And I'm gonna raise them for 15 minutes. And uh, then after 15 minutes, they'll be nice and puffy. Fill up that pan real nice. We'll put them in the oven for 15 minutes. And that's why they're called 60 minute rolls. It takes about 15 minutes to mix them up, 15 minutes to raise them in that water um, bowl, uh, another 15 minutes to raise them in these pans, and 15 minutes to cook. Okay, it's time to take a peek at the rolls and see how they've been raising. They look good. I like that. Okay, so. I think I'll go with that and we'll just slip those in the oven. Well, the oven got a little hot on me, but I got the rolls out just in time. They were just starting to brown, just a little too much for my opinion. And uh, I got them buttered so the tops will be nice and soft. And this little roll here is going to be really nice. So how is the Cornish hens doing? Let's take a look. And I've got the yams in there as well. They do look lovely. Everything's coming out good. Yay. In the oven temperature, we are at four. Okay. All right. And dinner is done. The Cornish hands look really nice. I'm kind of happy with those. And I've got some marinated carrots. And there's some sweet potatoes. And of course, the rolls. Oh. Let's see. It's 7.30 at night and I am done. Yes, 
Merry Christmas. God bless you all. Thanks for watching my video.